Marsley Jean-Pierre does a lot of multitasking in his life, from his day job as a social worker to performing and teaching improv in Center City. His restaurant pick is just as eclectic, offering breakfast, lunch, dinner, dancing, a beer garden, and more, all in the funky chrome diner Silk City. Silk City is a diner primarily with a beer garden and a nightclub attached. So we're Silk City Diner, Bar, and Lounge. We're right here on Spring Garden Street, and this place is kind of known for a place to kind of party late night, but during the day, we're a full service diner that has amazing foods. We're known for so many things. But one of the things that I keep hearing about when people say Silk City Diner, they always mention brunch. We're actually really known as kind of like the premier brunch spot in the city. On the weekends here, it's crazy. So if I was to come here, the thing that people always ask me about and always mention is the uh, chicken and waffles. When people leave Silk City, I just want them to feel that they had a great time and they got something great to eat at the same time. Our drink program is really strong. We have revolving beers on tap. Our can list is really good. There's pretty much something here for everybody. Marsley, Silk City is a Philadelphia classic. Tell us why you picked it. So I used to go to Silk City back in my, my younger days. I used to go just to drink and dance and have fun. Um, but one day, I remember one evening where uh, we had gone out, my, my friends and I, we went out and uh, we were hungry after, you know, dancing. Because, you know, you, in, yeah. Yeah, you pick up an appetite, <laughs> right? Uh, and so we went over to the diner area and just got uh, a few uh, appetizers. And I got, I remember getting the Thai chili wings and I was, I remember feeling like these are the best wings I've ever had in my life. And um, so after that, I just, it kind of became a thing for me. And then like uh, my wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, uh, it's somewhere that we kind of made a staple almost. It's like our favorite place to go. So is the Thai chili wings, is that kind of your go-to, what you would recommend everyone try when they go to Silk City? Absolutely, absolutely. It's. Uh, it's something that I usually get, but I, I've been trying to you know, deviate from my norm just because I know that there are other things on the menu that are, that are really good as well. This time around, you ordered something really peculiar. You ordered an Impossible Burger, but you replaced the Impossible Burger with a beef patty? Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, so uh, the Impossible Burger caught my eye because of all of the other... <laughs> the, the caramelized onions and everything else that was, that was incorporated in it. Um, but, I, you know, I, I didn't want to take the risk of trying a vegan burger uh, because I was very hungry. <laughs> and so I, wanted, I was in the mood for a beef burger, so I, I asked the waiter if I would be able to get the Impossible Burger with all of the, the same uh, additions. Just not the Impossible <laughs> yeah, Burger. Yeah, just like, just you make it more possible. You might not even know that they didn't replace the beef patty. I'm, it's that close. Maybe it was impossible. that impossible. <laughs> 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 but it was, it was great, I loved it. Okay, so yeah, they're Barbara. really great with customizations, I have to say. I brought my very super picky eater, three and a half years old, will not eat a grilled cheese sandwich if the color of the cheese is off, like absurd. But she loved the grilled cheese that they made there. She ate it all, surprising because the portions were massive, and she just had a great time there. And they were very good about all the little things here and there. My father has diet restrictions, and they were very good about working with him. And you know, there's a couple other piggy eaters in the bunch, and they're very good working on that too. It was and fantastic. it seems like you went out with like a big crew. Heck so you, yeah. You ordered <laughs> a lot, and you went for brunch, right? Absolutely. So absolutely. the one standout you said was the salmon avocado toast. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, it was absolutely delightful. It was filling, but it left enough room for the dessert. Overall, it was just the spot on deliciousness. The, the flavors were fantastic and it was so delightful. Wonderful. Yeah. So Ross, this was a bit of a surprise and you had the potato leek soup? I had the potato leek soup in a fancier restaurant that would have been called Vichyssoise. <laughs> but it was fabulous. It was just an amazingly good version of that soup. And then the rest of the meal was equally wonderful. Pulled pork with um, French fries made out of sweet potatoes, yeah. sweet, 
and everything was fabulous. The coffee was good. The restaurant was just a total surprise and a delight. And so you got a margarita as well. Absolutely. Very risky brunch <laughs> drink. You can compare. It was past 12, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess as long as it's afternoon. As long as it's the afternoon and you're feeling a margarita, go for it. Was it, how was it? <laughs> it was good. Again, simple, on the rocks, a little bit of salt, wonderful. Marsley, what did you, what did you get to drink? I had uh, something called a painkiller. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was having a rough day. <laughs> but uh, it, it was it was actually kind of like a pina colada with like nutmeg and like orange wow. juice, uh, and I think a little bit of cinnamon. It was it was I, I loved it so much that I tried to recreate it when I went home. Silk City is very eclectic. It's got a lot of art happening, a lot of like interior design. Yeah, I feel like the vibe is very like re it's chill and very relaxing, and, and it, it sort of still has that classic diner feel. Mm -hmm. um, and, and because of like the, the interior portion of it, it's um, it's not huge. There's there's not a whole whole lot of space, but I also do, like when it's nice out, I enjoy being able to sit outside in the back. I don't know if anyone here knows this, but one of my favorite tidbits about Silk City is that it's right at the intro of Will Smith's uh, Welcome to Miami music yeah. video, <laughs> where it's like, it's 30 below in Philadelphia, and Will Smith is in the diner with his friends, and they're all shivering, and someone comes into the diner, and he's like, Jack Frost done lost his <laughs> mind, and then they go to Miami from there. <laughs> you gotta well, that takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very, but it, it's a very classic diner mm -hmm. setting with a neighborhood that's just kind of evolved around. Yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think they just uh, there's like a yards brewery across the street yeah. from yeah. 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 They just yeah. moved in there. Yeah. yeah. So Barbara, of all the things you ordered, the one thing that really stood out this apple pie, this oh, legendary my apple this pie. This apple pie was perfection. Oh. I. Um, what makes a good apple pie? It is. Spot on, you gotta see the apples. I saw layers of apples. It was massive, but enough to share for an entire table. <laughs> it was it was massive, yeah. but it was a good massive. You just didn't want it to end. Um, the cinnamon was, was perfection. It wasn't too sweet. The crust was just to die for. I think I might have died and you're speaking to my ghost right now, <laughs> but it was wonderful. I got the apple pie as well, and I'm a big fan of apple pie. The first time I got it, I was I was, really, I had a lot to compare it to. Um, and I honestly think that it's up there with like some of the best apple pie I've, uh, that I've had. Clearly I have to head back and get the apple pie. If <laughs> I failed. I you didn't get the apple pie. No. You're I focusing on that wine list. I'm bereft. <laughs> so Marsley, you recommended Silk City. Sum it up for us. Silk City is a classic feeling diner with incredible food and the option to, to drink and dance if you want to. Triple threat. Yeah. Ross, sum it up for us. It was a total surprise and a total delight. And Barbara, what did you think? Bring everyone you know. Everyone will like something on that menu. It was absolutely wonderful, spot on across the board. For an equal measure of grilled cheese and grooves, check out Silk City, located at 435 Spring Garden Street in Philadelphia, 215-592-8838. Open 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. every single day of the week. Reservations are not accepted and the average tap per person is $25.